Hello, second grade, and welcome to Unit 3, The Land of Immigrants. Unit 3, A Land of Immigrants. Big idea. Change happens over time. Immigrants from all over the world have been coming to the United States before our country even began. They have shaped the culture of the United States. In this unit, you will learn how these immigrants have changed our country over. Use my notebook to take notes about immigration in the United States. You will use your notes to help you complete a project at the end of the unit. Reading Scale Understanding Sequence Good readers try to understand how ideas are connected in a text. One way authors connect ideas is by sequence. The sequence tells the order in which things happen. It tells what happens first, next, and last. Thinking about the order of events will help you understand what you read. To learn and practice the reading skill, click on the Skill Builders icon. Words to Know in this unit, you will learn many new words. All right, before we move on, I want to go through the learn it, try it, and apply it section, which are going to be pages that you're going to be working on. Now, for the learn it section, we're working on sequence. So sequence is telling things uh, in the order that they happen. So to understand sequence, look for clue words such as first, next, later, and last. These words can help to show the order of events. Look for dates that tell exactly when things happened. So we're going to look at this passage, and then we're going to take a look at the highlights. Paula made a Cuban sandwich for her friend. First, she toasted two slices of bread. Next, she spread mustard on one side of the bread and layered it with slices of pork and ham. Then she added melted Swiss cheese and pickles. Last, she topped it with buttered piece of bread and gave it to her friend. So we can see that they've already highlighted for us what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last. And it's in the passage to help us figure that out. So we're going to use this chart that's on page 63 to organize the information that was highlighted for us and to put it in those in that correct order. So what happened first goes in the first box, what happened next goes in the second box, and what happened last goes in the last box. Now for the apply it section, now it's your turn to find the sequence. First read the events of Adam's day below, then list the events in the proper order. So things over here might be mixed up. What you need to do is figure out what order they need to be in and rewrite them in the correct order. Yesterday was Adam's birthday. That night, Adam blew out candles on his birthday cake. During the afternoon, Adam had a birthday party at his house. So we want to figure out what happened first. So we know these two things happened in the same day, but this happened the day before. So we're going to list this first one under number one. Yesterday was Adam's birthday. For the second part, this one talks about what he did at night, but this talks about what happened in the afternoon. We know the afternoon is going to come before nighttime. We're going to write this in number two, and we're going to write this last one over in number three. And now we're going to get into the words to know. Click on the vocabulary icon to play games. Primary sources. Photographs. All right, so our vocabulary... Our vocabulary words for this week are going to be the word colony, colonist, Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, contribution, and custom. So over on page 65, where you need to fill out the words, it says, long ago, America was ruled by a country called England. America was a what of in England? We're going to use our word to help us fill in the blank. Colony is a place that's ruled by another country. So over here, we know we can put in the word colony. 
America was a colony of England because it was ruled by England at the time. Our next word is the word colonists. A colonist is a person who travels to a new land in order to settle it. Write keywords from the definition to help you remember the meaning of the word, word colonist. So over here, they're asking you to pull words out of the definition that's right under it. They're not asking you to make up your own words. So what are the important words in this definition? So I can see that the first important word is that is travels. And the next thing I might put in there is settle. So someone who travels to a new land to settle there. Next, we have Ellis Island. Ellis Island was an important immigration center in the United States. Is Ellis Island a person, place, or thing? So go ahead and decide which one it is on, and write that down on the line. The next vocabulary word is Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is a statue of a woman holding a torch. Draw a picture of the Statue of Liberty. You're going to draw it in the box right underneath. Next, we have contribution. A contribution is the act of giving or doing something. What contribution can you make to keep your classroom clean? So when you contribute something, you're doing or you're giving something. Now, either that's an actual thing or you're contributing your time. So decide. What is something that you can contribute to help keep your classroom clean? And your last word is the word custom. Custom is a special way of doing something that's shared by many people. What is the custom you share in your family? So think about something that your family does in a special way and write about it on the lines below. And now we're going to talk about our primary sources, which are photographs. Photographs are one type of primary source. A photograph is a picture that is taken with a camera. People have been using cameras and taking pictures for many years. Photographs from long ago can show us what life was like way back then. We can learn about how people lived and the places they went long ago. To learn and practice the primary source skill, click on the Skill Builders icon. Okay, I want you to go ahead and take a minute and read through what do you see going on in this photograph. So take a look at the photograph, read the caption, and what can you and use a complete sentence to answer this question, what do you see going on in this photograph? Also a complete sentence for the next question, number two, how can you tell this photograph is from long ago? So what clues in this picture tell you that it's from long ago? And this will take you to the very end of our unit opener. After this, we're going to get started on unit three, lesson one. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Take care for uh, second grade. Bye-bye.